stick that I thought I'd try out. I've got some thin branches of willow. I've got some bamboo. I've got some thicker branches of hazel. And I thought I'd just try it with lots of different styles of branches. I've also brought along my lolly sticks just to see if I can use those. I don't want to use those though. I'd like to use something that comes from nature that is completely natural. So, I'm gonna start with my willow. To make the suspension bridge, you need to just follow the same pattern of instructions. Start with two sticks next to each other and place a third stick across the top. Now each time, what we're going to do is we're gonna place a new stick underneath and we're going to place two sticks this way and they're going to go underneath the new stick and on top of the old stick. Underneath the new stick, on top of the old stick. Okay, there we go. So we do it again. We take another stick and we place it underneath our long sticks. And then we take two more sticks and we place them underneath the new stick, but on top of the old stick. And then the other one goes underneath the new stick, on top of the old stick, just there. This is where it keeps failing me, is because my sticks are either a bit bendy or not the same thickness, it starts to wobble. So I just need to try and get the sticks to be a little bit more equal in size. I've fallen over a bit there, let's see if I can rectify that. So I'm going to take another stick underneath these ones. to fall again. Oh dear, oh no, we've all fallen down. This is the problem, everything's wobbly because they're round. Let's try it with bamboo. So here's my bamboo. So, start with two sticks across. That's a different size, let's not use that one. Let's use that one, there we go. And we place one on top. Now, we place one underneath our long sticks and then the side sticks we're going to go in and put them underneath the new stick and on top of the old stick underneath the new stick and on top of the old stick take another one and place it underneath the long sticks now what I can do is I can go inside. So I might do that this time. Take two more, and I'm gonna go in the middle, but again, I'm gonna go underneath the new stick, on top of the old stick. Underneath the new stick, on top of the old stick. Oh, this one's a bit wobbly as well. Oh, uh, no. Bamboo's quite slippery. That hasn't worked very well. Let's try the hazel. Here we go, I've got different lengths of hazel. I've got long ones and short ones and they're different sizes as well. So we can just try out a whole different a range of hazels and see what we come up with. Let's try it again, here we go. Two sticks out, one on the top. I then place one underneath the long sticks. And then, two more that go underneath the new stick and on top of the old stick. Oh, it's going, catch it. And then lay this one underneath one and on top of the other. Same with, oh, it's gone. Oh, this is really tricky. Let's see what I can do with lolly sticks. Get up, gently does it. Oh, that one slipped out, oh no. Slide it 
slide one in there. Slide the other one in there. Is it going to stand up? Oh, no. I really want to see how well you guys can do with this. So remember, we start off with two sticks straight and one across the top. And each time we put another one across underneath. And we've got our new cross beam and our old cross beam. We take two more sticks and they're going to come long ways between the two cross beams going underneath the new one and on top of the old one. And then we do the next level and we go underneath with a new cross beam. And we take two more long sticks. And they go underneath the new cross beam, but on top of the old cross beam. Underneath the new cross beam, and on top of the old cross beam. Oh, it's all falling apart still. It's really tricky. I'd love to be able to make one of these that actually forms a bridge. That would be incredible. I'm going to keep trying. And if I can do any better, I'll come back to you. But I want you guys to find some sticks and see if you can make a Da Vinci suspension bridge by yourselves. What do you think? It may not be perfect, but it's definitely holding. Have a look down here. We have got a definite gap underneath our bridge. We have got a Da Vinci suspension bridge. Can you create your own Da Vinci style suspension bridge using sticks or twigs or lolly sticks or anything else you can find around the house? Send me your pictures if you can.